but for a while. Today we're going to talk about ballistics. How I use uh, ballistics on deer hunting. I can shoot deer at short range, long range, and be very effective. Um, we're going to go over bullet coefficients. Um, this is a tool I use, and it is a uh, conograph. Um, you shoot through here, and it measures from this point to this point how fast your bullet's going, and gives you a readout. Um, tells you in feet per second. So that gives you a lot of information on what to do. It, just bear with me. Be patient. Um, a lot of numbers, a lot of little things, but it's very easy, um, especially once you figure it out. Because you ha don't have to remember this in the field. I got this little case. And what I do is I write everything down. And I don't sit there and for every gun I have, I don't remember every ballistics, but my OT6, I'm pretty good at remembering that one, so I use it all the time. And I carry this with me in the field all the time. So that just, so it's not a lot of memory game. So there's tools out there. Um, I got an iPhone. Um, Nosler's got a ballistics. Winchester's got a ballistics for iPhone or Android. There's a lot of tools out there that you can have it right on you. So let's dig into this a little bit more. Okay, looking at this manual, all the manuals have it. You look at, we're going to use these uh, Spear Grand Slams 165. Very good bullet. Um, big game bullet. They retain a lot of weight. And uh, we're going to look at 308, which is this caliber, 30 out 6, 165 grain. And then look at Grand Slam. And then bullet coefficient is 0.393. So you have to remember that number. Write it down on a piece of paper. And then we're going to go to. IMR 4350 is what I use for this caliber and I'm pushing 2800 feet per second so you know there's another number 2800 feet per second you just write that down under your 2800 feet per second grand slam 0.393 and then in the back of your reloading manual You'll have bullet coefficients, which see I get these ear marked right here, um, and then you go here. You got muzzle velocities, and then uh, go down find 2,800 feet. That one's down to 32. Go to the next page. Right here is. 2,800 feet per second. Okay. If you know what your zero you want to be, I always have a 200 yard zero. That does me very well out west, Michigan, because at 200 yard zero, I'm at a positive 1.9, basically two inches high. At 300 yards, I'm 8.3 inches. So basically, on a whitetail, you aim center mass, you're going to kill it from 0 to 300 easily. At 400 yards, it's minus 24.2. At 500 yards, 49.6. That's how you figure out your bullet drop. Here's a quick little thing I found in uh, this book also trajectory terms you got your bullet arc where it crosses your line of sight and your bullet that's your zero and after that it's the negative side it could be a negative 24.2 on this side and then on this side it would be a positive because that's still above your line of sight so this is a very good picture gives you an idea got some terms 
that kind of thing. This method I use for bullet coefficient works great for me. I uh, it's helped me out very well in my hunting success, and uh, I've done very very well with it. So, but make sure you do it on paper. Shoot at 100 yards, 200 yards. Make sure the bullet numbers are matching up. So if you're 200 yards zero, um, you shoot at 100 yards, you should be like a 1.9 if you go by your bullet coefficient and your feet per second. And that'll get you right in the ball game for long range shooting because a lot of people can't shoot 500 yards. They don't have areas around here for that. So, alright. Thanks guys. Talk to you later.